identifying whether there are Legionella bacteria in water samples, both for routine monitoring and outbreak investigations, requires a number of complex laboratory processes. Many laboratories perform routine monitoring of water samples to test for the presence of Legionella to determine whether the levels are within acceptable ranges and do not pose a risk to people's health. But samples taken as part of outbreak investigations in England should be tested by Public Health England's specialist food, water and environmental microbiology laboratories. These are accredited by the United Kingdom Accreditation Services for the tests and are funded to undertake these investigations in England. They are also experienced at liaising with PHE reference laboratories and sending cultures for further examinations. Samples should be taken from the system being monitored or investigated at specific points where Legionella bacteria are likely to be found in the highest concentrations. Our film on sampling explains this in detail. Oxidising biocides like chlorine must be neutralised at the time the sample is collected. If the biocide cannot be neutralised, this should be noted on the laboratory request form to inform the laboratory that the sample must be processed as soon as possible. Samples must be transported to the laboratory quickly so they can be analysed within 24 hours of collection. Samples do not need to be refrigerated but should be transported in a container which protects them from sunlight and extremes of temperature and must be accompanied by documentation that clearly identifies where, when and by whom the samples were taken. Maintaining the chain of evidence is particularly important in outbreaks. Because Legionellae are difficult to grow in the laboratory, samples must undergo a number of processes before the presence and numbers of the bacteria can be confirmed. It's important that each stage is undertaken rigorously as Legionellae can be lost at each part of the process and this will affect the accuracy of the final result. Since Legionellae are rarely present in high numbers, filtration and centrifugation are commonly used to concentrate the bacteria in the sample. It is necessary to produce other bacteria in the background which may be present in the water sample. These may outnumber the Legionellae and could interfere with their growth and isolation. The next stage attempts to do this by treating portions of the concentrate using heat or an acid buffer. The treated and untreated concentrates are then applied to the growth medium containing charcoal and antibiotics. Legionella colonies take between 3 to 10 days to develop on the culture medium. The colonies of the bacteria are counted on three occasions during this period. It's important to use a low-powered binocular microscope to identify the colonies as they have a characteristic appearance when lit from an angle. National guidance documents provide suggested responses to different levels of Legionellae detected. When high numbers are detected, the response involves shutting down the source of the infection until effective decontamination has taken place. The Food, Water and Environmental Microbiology Laboratory is part of a regional network of Public Health England laboratories specialising in the isolation of Legionella from environmental and water samples. Once we have isolated Legionella, it is important that we link the isolates from water with those from the patient samples. In order to do this, we get specialist testing from our reference facilities at the PHE Centre for Infectious Disease Surveillance and Control in Collindale. There, at the reference laboratory, molecular typing is undertaken. This is vital from a public health perspective to provide evidence to link a patient to a source of infection or to rule out a potential source. Experts at Public Health England understand the importance of reporting accurate and meaningful laboratory results. Microbiology laboratories that examine water samples from the environment play an important role in the management of public health threats thereby supporting the appropriate management of facilities and controlling infection. Public Health England supports microbiology laboratories so they are able to demonstrate that their test procedures and the interpretation and understanding of test results are reliable, accurate and unequivocal by providing external quality assessment schemes and promoting the use of characterised reference controls. It is important for laboratories examining external quality assessment samples to use exactly the same techniques that they use for their routine water samples. If laboratories experience difficulties with their examination for Legionella testing, then they can contact us at Public Health England and we can offer them expert advice.